Hey everyone, how's it going? It is I, the real Randy Chavez, coming at you today with a VV Omi update video. If you guys, if you're new, welcome or not, welcome back. I love y'all. Everyone say hello to Dashi. Hello, Dashi. Commenting, liking, subscribing is a free way to help support the channel. Non free ways are Patreon and smashing that super thanks button down below. Wild, wild 12, 24 hours for crypto. Um, have we reached the bottom? Is the bottom here? I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to title this video. I think it might be when is the last time you get to buy Omi? How long do you have? The short answer is nobody knows. Uh, the longer answer is we have a lot of volatility in these markets. Hopefully the bottom's in. There's no way to tell. Uh, Omi actually up over the last 24 hours, or actually up about 1. Uh, about 1.1% on the day. Uh, it does look like it will come back down in a little bit. And then we do, we are outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum though. Uh, we're in the last... Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. Only in the last hour are we outperforming Bitcoin and Ethereum. They're both down 3.3% uh, and 3.7%. We are outperforming Bitcoin, which is up about 1% over the last 24 hours, but Ethereum's up 9% over the last 24. So there is a little bit of wiggle room there, depending on how you look at it. As far as the markets, though, we had actually some very good CPI data to go over. The core CPI, excluding the crazy laggard of shelter inflation, is negative 0.1%, which is the first negative read since May of 2020. So huzzah to that. And markets are re responding very positively. S&P 500, over 4%. Dow, over 2%. NASDAQ, over 5.6%. NASDAQ being over 5.6% is like any other thing, well, over 40%. Absolutely wild, absolutely bananas. And this does come on the heels of Kathy Wood yesterday saying that she bought another 4,000... I think 4,000 shares of Tesla, bought, bought, a, bought a whole bunch of Tesla yesterday. Uh, really, really, the markets are responding very, very positively to the news this morning. Um, and we could obviously expect that for for the time being. Tesla up over 5% today. Huzzah to that. And also, I'm sorry, she bought 39,676 shares of Tesla because she does believe it's going to 4,000, which I believe it will as well. Not financial advice. Also, be advised, I don't know if I'm going to make a video or a live tomorrow. It will be Veterans Day, so I will be enjoying that free food. So this might be the last video you get for a couple days. Um, some more stability in the markets. We do have Paolo Ar Arduino saying, Tether just processed 700 million in redemptions in the last 24 hours. No issues. We keep going. So I think that does provide a little bit more stability as well. But yeah, for Omi yesterday... Um, Everyone was saying, like, Chavez, you, you said it would never get down to triple zeros, or you said if it did, it would wick back up really quickly. We were down there for hours. You're, you're right. We were down there for hours, and now we're at 0. .0012 again, give or take. Um, I So I have 147 million OMI now. I bought the dip. I am very, very happy about myself. Will I get to 150 million by the end of the year? I'm going to try. I, I don't know. Um, but I did. I was able to buy that dip. Um, if, if Omi is able to go down again towards that triple zero mark, not necessarily get there, but if they are able to go down towards it, it's very, it's very possible. I do get, uh, 150 million by the end of the year. Uh, we'll, we'll see, but, um, I did buy a bit more in dollar cost average and be advised. Yes, th there were a lot of whales that I know that had buy orders down there and they all filled when I tell you hundreds of millions of Omi went to whales that I know personally, I I would I would dare to say that a billion's a lot, but hundreds of millions of Omi went to whales that I know personally yesterday. Don't believe me? Okay, so yesterday around 3.5 billion Omi was traded on OKX. Um, I, 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 th I don't know how much... Uh, was traded on each specific exchange, but over the last 24 hours, we had $8 million in trading volume. That is absolutely bananas. We On good days, we haven't had that. I think since... I, I, I think since we had like that crypto to jam in early 2021, and then obviously got taken away, but uh, that is very, very bullish. That means that a lot of people are buying a lot. Everyone bought the dip. A lot of people's buy orders got filled. So it's very, very bullish for me. Some more bullish things, the Tron DAO Reserve said to safeguard the overall blockchain industry and crypto market, Tron DAO Reserve will purchase an additional 300 million USDT in the market. Some other bullish things that I think we have going here is we have Dan Held saying, new exchanges now doing proof of reserve, showing exactly what they're made of is OKX, Binance, KuCoin, Polynox, and Huobi. There is a silver lining in everything. 
a lot of NFTs did get liquidated uh, yesterday, whether it be for Ether you know, Ethereum over on you know, Recur, where, be advised, uh, if you look at the Nickelodeon NFTs for their, uh, there, there's a whole lot of items um, and a mixture of like 20 first appearances from multiple shows. But uh, uh, each character's, you know, individually, their market caps are not good compared to first appearances on Vivi. Uh, the floor is 0 0.021 ETH. They are not the only things, they're not the only ones that have got liquidated. Um, I myself have uh, floored a couple of NFTs yesterday. Sub 100 Starfire, Sub 100 Luke Skywalker lightsaber. One of my VV logos, uh, which was, uh, again, is using to help fund the purchase to get me to 150 million OMI. I still have three left, um, and those aren't going anywhere anytime soon. At least not until after Decon is over. I do expect a little bit of pump after that. Uh, Cavell Anderson flooring his stuff. Uh, we both floored our Elsas. Uh, he floored his Secret Rare Spider-Man. He floored his Todd. Um, what does this mean? Is VV over? Is it done with? No, absolutely not. As soon as we get Omi to gem and we get, you know, Omi starts pumping a little bit more, I'm going to sweep these floors like no one's business. Uh, and and I, I can't speak for Cavell, but I could just assume that he probably just wants a little more Omi on the dip. Uh, I, I mean, you know, let, let's say this Todd does a, does a 14x uh, gets back to its former glory, going going to fourteen thousand dollars, which I fully expected to, you know, at some point, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five, what, whatever. Okay, well, how what does Omi have to do? Right, well, Omi has to, you know, fifteen x. Uh, so let's say twenty x. You know, ten x would be one point two cents. Twenty x would be two point four cents. Uh, I fully expect in the height of the next bull market, Omi to go blow well past ten cents, uh, which would be over hundred x. So you know, I, I think that's where Cavell's mindset is going. Um, and, and obviously I think I expect Todd to not just go where it was before, obviously surpass that. I, I expect, I expect a lot from MCP and I expect a lot of people really FOMOing in, uh, into this. Here's a quick, easy way how to be able to get, uh, Omi on Coinbase. Coinbase wallet can easily swap for Omi as a big deal. Uh, so for those of you that do not know, Coinbase wallet is an extension of Coinbase and you can exchange Ethereum for Omi. On the app in one step that's all it takes you should be able to bridge it in the app without an issue it's not an exchange so you can't have buy or sell orders you can just exchange it so after digging into this like is it a liquidity pool it's unknown but you know can you take 10 eth and exchange it and get 10 eth worth of omi yes you can how much omi is in there i have no idea and can a whale change the price in this way i also have no idea but for right now, that's how you can do it very, very easily if you want to. Just an easier way to buy it. And I guess the long answer of how much longer do you have left to buy Omi? I, I mean, a lot of these things could have that could yesterday have signaled the bottom. Sure, it's possible. Um, what if Omi go? You know, what if my money doesn't clear for another week? You know, let's say you you cash out everything on on you know all your gems yesterday, and it doesn't clear for five to seven business days. In which case, if you if you're going and you cash out today. It won't clear until this either the 17th or the 21st, you know, anywhere in between. Because again, five, seven business days, tomorrow's Veterans Day, so that doesn't count. So it's today, the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, the 17th is the fifth day. Uh, then the 18th is the sixth and the 21st is the uh, next day after that. So it's possible that you wouldn't get your stuff until after decon. What does that mean? Okay, I, I, I think that if you were really going for it, even if this goes to 0 0.002 and the price has pretty much doubled since yesterday, I, I, I would still buy, not financial advice, just because that's still a really, really, really small uh, market cap. It's still a really good price in my opinion. Would I be salty that I only got X amount of million by buying there as opposed to you know 0 0.001 where it is possible it could go again? You know, Bitcoin didn't reach that 12.5 to 14K that people were thinking. Could we have unemployment come in and be another leg down? Could we have, you know, the housing market crash and be another leg down? Absolutely. Um, nobody knows. Uh, it's it's I, either way. Either way, I don't, for the long term in three years from now, which is kind of midterm, um, I don't think it really matters where you buy it at, but um, it is possible it goes down there again. And again, a bunch of my whales got fed really, really well yesterday, early this morning. And they they took advantage. They so pretty much all of their stuff got um, got bought. Their orders got filled. They are full. If that happens again, I don't know if they're going to be there. Uh, you know, to to be able to help curb that, to be able to buy it up, and maybe it stays down there. I don't know. 
Um, the buyer's exhaust buyer's exhaustion is a real thing. That is something that that happens. Um, you know, it, so it's very possible if we go down to 0 0.001 again and, you know, 0 0.0009998, that it goes down to 0 0.0008 because maybe there's not as much buy volume. There's not as much uh, things there. Will, will I attempt to buy? Sure, of, of course. Um, but now that all those buy orders that my whales had were filled and, a hun and they had an extra hundreds of millions, maybe they don't need as much anymore. Maybe they're just like, ah, they're good. Um, is it very, very tempting to go and buy down there? Of course, absolutely. Um, will any of them take profit at like 0 0.002? Did they take profit, you know, when it went up 40%? Uh, I, I, I don't think they did. I don't know if they will. I, I imagine some of them might take profit when they 5x some of their money. Um, a, a few of them have basically said, no, this is a long thing. You know, that they're waiting for a 2 to 300x, uh, which 2025, you know, that's... Um, that could, I guess it's possible 2024, uh, but yeah, 2025, you're looking at a couple hundred X. Cause again, 10 X from now would be 1.2 cents. A hundred X would be 12 cents. So 200 X, 24 cents. Yeah. I, I think that's probably, that's probably fair. Anyway, guys, not financial advice. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Comments are good for the YouTube algorithm. Everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye Dashi. I love you guys. Bye. Meow, meow. It was sleeping hot. Meow, meow, meow.